Hey guys, what's up? I am back with Mass Effect 2 and ready to explore more of the Ilium. There's someone over here. Why not? No, no, not that. <laughs> Commander Shepard, okay. I saw your. Hmm. I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. But I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. So many people from Novaria here. a lot of people Ooh. on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we what? hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I don't think she's controlling her without Asari's without Asari letting him letting it so I'm glad to hear that are you on Ilium? are you somewhere close by the Rachni Queen is not here that message is one of many memories I carry from her I encountered her on an uncharted world she saved my life more than that she gave me a purpose they are an amazing people Shepard the galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance hmm I hope that they're not the dangerous. I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously and got off-world again. Back? Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working <laughs> together. Each with a purpose. What happened That's to the nice. pirates who attacked pirates? you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. What happened to the pirates who okay. attacked you? They were obliterated. Oh, sorry. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do so, what they must. A sorry purpose you said the here, your purpose. Gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared hmm? her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My huh. life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. It doesn't really sound... Maybe. You were really okay. comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't Maybe. work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. I think if some part of that is suggestion, somehow... then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. I think somehow she tapped into their high mind or something. Can you tell me where the Rachni <laughs> are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that and she was meaning grateful. All the message. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't yeah. really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused Reapers? the Rachni war? I can't say for sure. But she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. Really? If they made war, it was not of their own doing. 
but uh, were reapers able to affect back then like because Ragnar was was so far away is so far away from he is so far away we are right they were too long ago but still they might have some kind of effect on them I guess so thank, thank you, you for them, giving me for that the information message, that's I'm it. glad my friend on Novaria is doing well be well commander Shepard you will not see me again okay <laughs> how can you short sell sure. fabs after these human colony attacks they're going to see a ton of business a ton of no more shops followed by a freeze as two colony plants dry up This I need is minimal what I increase. yeah and speed. I have extremely high I bought performance everything I wanted from there. There's an entrance over there, but I'll go there later. Safe too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. Are you a Corian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against Exos? What's this? I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Huh? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some about? human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Why? Is there anything I can Good do? to know. Oh no. That crap <laughs> might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Whatever. Okay. What's that? Ah. Bachelor party. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. That's the human thing, like, right? wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do oh, this okay. too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that <laughs> bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. Oh my god. I appreciate the gesture. Yeah. But my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... Linda. I can appreciate <laughs> dancing in an aesthetic manner, but... I don't have... Feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. okay. That makes my legs hurt. <laughs> watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I'd fear. It's actually... I is it warm in here? Okay. You see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them. And you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> the point, man! I can understand why uh... I would find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait, you don't think they're like <laughs> mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin hey. Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose <laughs> watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit? Yeah. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. He's here just for here. drinks. Salarians do not get married. Okay. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Lanxenia Tina. Okay. So then he Ooh, says, guys. Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. 
I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then, I had to explain about cross species Ooh. fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? <laughs> you're dating a human? Really? Okay. You're really holding out on me? Uh, what? Man on the edge. Conrad? I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh-huh. What? What the fuck are you doing here? It's definitely you him. How far I'll go. I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, what? if you know this the idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? <laughs> It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted uh -huh. to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a oh. gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. No. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Why are you wearing an N7 armor? <laughs> and why are you... Saying that I shoved the gun in your face, I didn't. Uh, I've got some asses to kick. Shoot his foot! Wow, Conrad, uh, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. Uh huh. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits Glad and my that nerves. You know. No rules, no laws, just sure. whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And seven armor. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, <laughs> if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. Really? Oh my god, the face <laughs> <laughs> the assault behind. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time uh -huh. for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy and... needed someone like you, Shepard. We all Oh, did. so that's I when you stepped up. That's when you step up. <laughs> Damn it. What's your job, comrade, here? So you huh? just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. <laughs> Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Okay. Security detection? Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military. Much less part of my squad. <laughs> I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. Yeah. I'm doing the best I can, okay? Sure. You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. Okay. The galaxy Same thing needed again. someone like you, Shepard. We all did. <sighs> I had to do something. Conrad, what were you doing here? Why were you here, trying really? to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. Ooh. We need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapon store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, <laughs> crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Okay. Uh, I think I should handle this. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually <laughs> causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Oh, okay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Yeah, sure. I'll be the, you'll be the first person that I'll come for help. Good luck talking to the weapons merchant. Remember, she's at the shop by the carport. Okay. Good luck talking to the weapons merchant. Okay. Remember, she's at what the shop the by the carport. What about the bartender? Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. <laughs> Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. Okay. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I am Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Okay, you are a matriarch, really? You're an a sorry matriarch? 
thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. <laughs> I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. Ooh. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Okay, you really did. Hmm. But why are you working at a bar? I'm a matriarch in a bar serving drinks. It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Mm. Your ships were hanging bare assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. Ooh. What didn't they want to you hear? Knew? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When mm -hmm. I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Actually, you're a good one, clever one. But yeah, they didn't listen to you. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. Oof. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> if your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? Yeah. They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. Ooh. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Wow. So Krogans leave that much too. I'm not surprised because, yeah. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me <laughs> on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? Mm. What a kick in the quad. <sighs> What about your father? You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, <laughs> I go for asses. <laughs> when I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> Okay, I like this Asari. Long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. <laughs> Anything to say, Tally? Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? <laughs> okay, nothing, thanks. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back and talk to you again. Good luck talking to the weapons merchant. Okay. Remember, she's the shop Conrad. The prison here. ship Purgatory has been destroyed following an apparent riot. Security mm -hmm. ships are en route to the area to retrieve prisoners and guards from life pods. Can they? Huh. You're not going to say. What? This one has forgotten whether its heat sink is over capacity. It wonders whether the criminal scum considers itself fortunate. They were wrong. That's not real, right? The last thought? The first Hanar Spectre? He's got a lover in every port and a gun really? Okay. <laughs> Do you have anything flashier? Am I done here? I, I think I am. I What's that? 
Hmm. I see what Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin A Creo. While Alien News did credit Hello. legendary Listen, hey. I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't get us down the pack. Lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. I know Nesana. She killed her sister. I mean, made me kill her sister. She was sitting on a bar on the citadel. Yeah. You guys, they don't talk. What's this? Serena. I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay. And up there. Bad luck on the stock market. Dead piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Hmm. Okay. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Okay. I think I know you. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I do. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth mm -hmm. attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. And you I are promised green. to help Zeus hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus hope? How's Zeus hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Hmm. So, are the people still in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. Really? They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Hmm. What brings you here? What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Huh. That's why I'm here. Hey, why are you green? Yes! Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. <sighs> a few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. Mm -hmm. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Damn. Scanning? Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Huh. And you think this is a real threat? Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Ooh. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Hmm. And what the kind of health problems. problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. Ooh. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Yes. Okay, so maybe I can I'll help. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Okay. 
I will help, but I'm I'm still looking for shops. I only got one. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours plus overtime. Hey. Okay. I think I found a shop. Weapons merchant. Can I help you with something? Ooh. Uh, Never mind. Let me let me shop first. Okay. Uh, this is expensive, but I'm going to this take should come it. in handy. Submachine gun damage. Yeah. Why not? Assault rifle damage. Amplif amplifier plates. Hmm. No, no. I think there's one more. Rose of Ilium. Yeah, Let I want to shop. <gasps> Fish. <laughs> uh, let's buy it. Yay. Model Alliance Cruiser? Yes. Atabasca class freighter? A small ship model of the ubiquitous Atab... What the heck is that? <laughs> Let's just buy it. I should uh, go to Normandy more often. I shouldn't forget. And uh, feed my fish this time properly. <laughs> What are you talking survive, about? It must grow I don't have much time, so I'm just going to look around. What about you? Oh, let's just deal with Conrad's thing. What? Can I help you with something? Hmm. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that <laughs> place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed uh -huh. to uh, stop the red sand dealers. Damn it, Conrad, you fell to that. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. <laughs> go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for Damn the help. <sighs> Can I buy more? I shouldn't have buy all those. Damn it. Let's go and uh, talk to Conrad. You can sell something that dangerous come back just a here. contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything. So this is a this is an authority colony in terminus systems. Open up. Uh, I also didn't explore that place up the stairs. Right? I think the if this is the best you have, I'll bar was new. over here. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible. Let me see. Yep. Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding. Uh huh. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. <laughs> I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. <laughs> your bartender. Okay. Where's Conrad? Hey, babe. <laughs> what happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. Conrad. She wasn't a cop. She was using you to try to take over this bar. What? No. But but she said. Yeah. But she was pretty and blue. <laughs> she wanted to get Damn it, coffee. Conrad. And she smiled when she said coffee. I'm pretty really? sure it was a euphemism. I screwed this up, didn't I? I screwed oh. everything up. Damn it, I'm so stupid. Who was I to think I could do what you do? Uh, I can't, I can't uh, really talk against that. 
you know. <laughs> but uh, let's let's pep talk him. You did fine. <laughs> Thanks for holding the reins while I was gone. It's good to know that someone cared. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. <laughs> now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. <laughs> Damn. Don't do stupid things anymore, although... I don't think it's possible. <laughs> oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get... I was listening! Ah. Welcome back, babe. Can hey, I get babe. you anything? <laughs> Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Yeah. Just looking around. Pleasure as always. Okay. <laughs> I should stop calling people babe. Your it's your fault. You, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh. oh, that's sweet. But it, I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could oh, watch Sleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Gorian relationships. Damn, anyway, you, you're trying to woo her. To worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program. I built it to my And I hear that the love seats are... What? Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, Why? Excuse me, human. Private conversation. Uh, A little space, please. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, uh, I'm out of time. <laughs> Let's not snoop around anymore, at least for this episode, and finish it over here. So, thank you for watching. Bye.